most accurate forecast. Hello everyone and good evening to you on this Saturday. We're looking live with our poppy camera up toward the north and west towards Syracuse Onondaga Lake and you can see we've got a blend of sun and some high and mid-level clouds blocking the sun out a little bit or filtering it here at times, especially Syracuse northbound. And uh, I think all in all it's a nice evening to be out and about though. It's warm, yeah, but it is uh, basically summer, right? We go from this view over to the numbers from today and take a look. Hot, 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 yeah. 93 hot degrees in Syracuse, one degree shy of the record high set back in 1934. So that record stood just barely. Uh, low 68 stuffy degrees, so well above the normal there of 54. No rainfall at the airport or throughout any part of central New York on your Saturday. All right, so temperatures right now, they've cooled down four degrees in Syracuse since the daytime high just an hour or two ago, down to 89 degrees now. So it's mid to upper 80s, still very toasty out there. Notice, look at Chicago cooking in the low 90s. So you're like, is it going to stay hot? Mm-hmm, yeah, it is. Uh, flirting with record territory tomorrow and Monday as well. Uh, and then as we go into Tuesday, we're I'd say at least 90 anyway, and maybe up near 90 here on Wednesday. And to get an official heat wave in central New York, you need three consecutive 90 plus degree days. We'll do that, I think, easily. Okay, so this will be the first heat wave of 2021 once we get it on Monday, that 90 plus degree reading. Alrighty. Record checks. Um, so today we fell one degree short. I think tomorrow we at least tie, if not break it. All right. I was being a little conservative. I probably should have gone up to 93, 94, but I was being a bit of a baby there. I uh, just was like, I'm going to play it safe. Okay. Uh, for Monday, 94 is the record. All right. So these are the records. These are our forecast highs. We're forecasting 92 at least. So close to record there Monday. Uh, Tuesday, that should say actually 90. So I think Tuesday's record is safe. Let's hope, right? Uh, dew points right now, not bad. Uh, mainly low mid 50s. So it's not super muggy, thankfully. But notice upper 50s, low 60s to our south and west. And those hum humidity levels and dew points will come up a bit over the next couple of days. Getting close to 60 tomorrow, probably into the low, maybe mid 60s here on Monday. So starting to feel a little stuffier. And then Tuesday, yeah, it's definitely getting sweatier as our chances for a few storms goes up as well. Radars across central New York, nice and quiet right now. Notice to the north, though, up toward Ottawa, we got some showers. Just because we got a little cold front, you're like, is that going to come in and cool us off? No, not going to make it here. It's going to run out of gas and fall apart to our north. So northern New York, thicker clouds, few showers possible up toward Clayton and Governor, maybe Ottensburg, but not here in central New York. We stay uh, south of that area of cold front. All right, look at your time cast and you can see again, we got a few clouds or some patches of clouds going through the evening and the night. Temperatures mid to upper 60, 65 to 70. So it's a stuffy night, but at least it's not super muggy with a bit of a breeze. Tomorrow, we start off in the 60s, low 70s, jump quickly into the 80s to near 90 by lunchtime. Yeah, I know. Uh, and then as we go through the afternoon, uh, we are cooking it up into the low, maybe mid 90s. Out on the water tomorrow, looks good. Yeah, looks like a good day to be out in the water, jet skiing, uh, whatever, hanging out in the boat. It's going to be a little choppy at times, but in general, just one to f one footer is probably wave action. Uh, going into Tuesday, better chance for a few scattered storms. Uh, could be a few scattered storms here Wednesday and then drying out and cooling off a little bit here in just uh, end of the week there, Kellyanne.